What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you what to do if your PlayStation 5 is experiencing the red lights or also known as the red light of death. Let's get right into this. So basically what the red light is on the PlayStation 5 that means that your PlayStation 5 console is overheating. Now the PlayStation 5 is designed to have optimal cooling, but there may be times where your PlayStation 5 console will be overheating. And today we're gonna to be talking about some things that you can do to prevent this and what to do if your console is overheating. So first, how to prevent your console from overheating and to prevent the red lights. The first thing is to make sure that all of the vents and the back have enough space, which is at least 10 centimeters. That way your console can breathe correctly and a lot of the airflow can go around it and it can be cooled down that way. And you're gonna also want to make sure that none of the vents are blocked. You're gonna to want to make sure that you don't place your console in any cramped or narrow space. You're gonna to want to give, again, the console enough room around it to breathe properly. Failing to do this can really result in it overheating and it does happen. And the other thing you're gonna to want to do to prevent it from overheating is to regularly check to see if there's any dust buildup and vacuuming it or spraying it out and making sure you can get all of the dust out that are either clogging up the vents or anything else. You can remove the white color Cover of the PlayStation 5 to remove any of the dust that's in and around the fan, but I don't recommend opening up your PlayStation 5 console if it is under warranty. Now what to do if your PlayStation 5 is currently overheating? The first thing is to check everything that I mentioned above to make sure that it's placed correctly, that nothing's blocked, and it is cooling properly. It should be in a cool place, and that's there is no dust buildup. If you did all of that, the next thing to do would be to turn off the PlayStation 5, unplug all of the cables, and you're gonna leave it for a couple hours to ensure that it is cooling down properly. After a couple hours go by, you can plug it back in and try to turn it back on and see if it does work without it over if your PlayStation 5 is still overheating, then you might have to move it. Even if it looks like it's in a good position, you might have to move it. Now, one thing that I keep seeing online is some people say that it only overheats if it's vertical. Other people say it only overheats if it's horizontal. It doesn't matter how you position your PlayStation 5 console, whether it's vertical or horizontal, as long as you place it in the right spots where there's optimal airflow and nothing is obstructing the vents or blocking it and it has enough room to breathe. Now unfortunately if you checked everything that I mentioned in this video and you're still experiencing the red light or the red light of death on your PlayStation 5 and it is still overheating then unfortunately there's nothing more that you can do. If it is under warranty I recommend you replacing it. Now unfortunately if you do have it where it's just the warranty with Sony you will have to ship them the console, what they're gonna do is basically try to fix it. If they can't, then they're gonna send you a refurbished PlayStation 5 back to you, which I just don't like the concept of that. What I recommend, and hopefully you did, was purchase an extended warranty with your console. With GameStop, you can purchase a one year at $80 or a two year at $140. And by doing that, if you ever have a problem, for example, it overheating and the red light of death, what you're literally just gonna do is take it back to them. They're gonna give you a brand new PlayStation 5 console for you. So it's way easier to do it at GameStop with the warranty, but if you are still experiencing the red lights, the red light of death and it overheating, you might have to replace the console because there's likely a bigger issue with the console, unfortunately. Hopefully you, hope, hopefully you have fixed Hopefully what I mentioned in this video has helped you fix the overheating and the red light issue. If it has, great. Unfortunately, it might be a bigger issue and you might have to replace it, but hopefully you did get it fixed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.